which is gonna be well met versus barely online all right and the first bands already coming in well met band stitches their usual ban and the first ban out of barely, on, barely online is tacita um have you sent me the link uh not yet give me a sec All right. Okay. Um. So, ban. Uh, Tacita for Bailey Online. First pick for Wemet was Tychus, while Bailey Online went for Uther and Abather. Abather as the second pick. That's yeah. really really quick. Yeah, they're gonna try to to create their team around that Abather, I think. Now we have Arthur's picked for well met. It has to be such a crucial crucial pick, this Abathur, I yep. think, when it comes that early into the picking process. Well, since they couldn't pick up Tychus, um, because usually, I mean, t double Odin is just incredibly strong. Um, so they have to go for another really a solid second choice here to clone. Um, oh, jeez. Would be uh, Illidan, uh, for example, like in, in terms of burst potential, maybe? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, a massive burst potential um, also makes makes it possible for them to just completely demolish the other team, but at the same time, it's a double-edged sword. I mean, it could go either way. Um, if you don't get that burst in, or they somehow control you, for example, with a Void Prison, then you just completely bustle down and everything just falls apart um, with double Illidan. Um, but, but we'll see. Um, we got the first picks coming in for... Um, or the next picks coming in for Wemet, and it's gonna be Brightwing. A little okay. bit surprised about that. I don't think I've seen a Brightwing on them before. Interesting. They usually went for Rhaegar or Malfurion, uh, Uther, but since Uther is banned, maybe Brightwing next choice uh, for... who is playing? I think Hasu, no wait, nay, Hasu was playing Rainer. No, it was so, like, no, no, uh, it was Pausen Clown on the Pausen support. Clown, yeah, that's right, that's right. Pausen Clown was playing uh, the support. So I think he's probably going to go for that uh, Brightwing now. And next pick out of Barely Online is Tyrael. Okay. I, well, let's wait for the next pick for Barely Online. Maybe I see where they go, uh, what they are planning. Maybe. <laughs> let's let's see if they seal the deal or if I'm completely wrong. And yeah, and the next ban is coming in right now for Team Well Met, I think. But something ha uh, must have happened to Rhaegar. We don't see him quite as often. Why is that? Have you an explanation for that? Well, I think he's picked pretty often. Um... I mean, Uther is usually first pick as far as supports are concerned, and then you would see Rhaegar and Brightwing maybe as the third choice. I'm a little bit surprised that um, Wermet didn't go for Rhaegar, but they ha must have something specific in mind. Um, I don't know if we have a map yet. Maybe that's the reason. No, that no lobby up yet, so we don't know what map they chose. Um, Brightwing, usually a little bit map dependent if you want to go for it, for her. Mm -hmm. Totally agreed. And we have a Falstead ban for Team Well Met. So Stitches again. Falstead are banned again for Team Well Met. Uh, I like that ban. I mean, Stitches is, well, I mean, he's one of those bans that comes in uh, in maybe half of all, all games. So uh, he's a really good idea to ban him. And. The test of the band out of barely online, uh, same thing. Yeah. Because Stitches with the hook and the gorge later on is so powerful, you can pretty much single out one target, um, especially when you're skilled blink at level 20 as well, so you can blink into your own teammates and completely single out one or maybe two or three targets if you have the possibility to, and that's such a crucial power. And a new band out of barely online, okay. Um, that's a little bit surprising, but considering that uh, they only have Arthas uh, with the stun so far, 
Not a bad choice, though I've not seen well met play a Nubu Rock before. Um, so, I don't know, maybe they played it in the last final on Sunday in the ESL matches? I know, I don't know. Uh, my, uh, yeah, my, uh, my thinking for, for this matchup is that Bally Online wanted to be the team which engages. So they want to ban out all possible engage uh, uh, heroes. And we have Arena coming up for Team Well Met. So now it gets interesting. Yep, Raynor as the <coughs> second uh, assassin. Even more surprising that they didn't pick Rhaegar with Raynor incoming. Um, would have made that Bloodlust combo viable and uh, wouldn't make you as dependent on um, on the ancestral healing. So um, Brightwing still kind of surprises me in this in this combination. Maybe they want to go for a more control type setup. So uh, the Brightwing with the Teleport, the um, Rainer with the Hyperion or the Rainer's Raiders can pretty much uh, zone out the opponent. Maybe they want to go for a more control type approach and that's why they don't pick the, the Burst Heal or the Bloodlust combo. Yep, yeah, um, let's see what the next warrior is going to be out of, uh, out of well met. Uh, we have a Nova for Barely Online. Yeah, well, um, good pickup. Um, com combines really well with Turiel, of course. And um, I mean, with Turiel and Uther, you have some really nice stun potential. And uh, Nova can cap capitalize on that with her precision strike. So um, I do like the composition so far. It's a pretty much it's a pretty good initiation team, if you ask me, because the Turiel, maybe uh, the double Turiel, if the clone comes uh, comes in hand can pretty much engage right away into the enemy. Then we have the Uther, with ca which can lay down a Divine Storm. And we have the Burst uh, of Nova, which can come in and burst uh, some of the heroes down. And I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to the last pick. And we got ETC for Well Met. That's surprising. That's Definitely absolutely surprising. surprising. Uh, I, I thought they'd probably go for Muradin again since that's uh, one of Nomi's first choices. But ETC, um, well, with, oh, oh, I think what they, I think I know what they're doing with this. Um, ETC and Brightwing uh, both have the ability to just jump into any fight and, well, they do, they do have the potential to just completely surprise Barely Online with this composition. So you mean like a split push combo? Um, well, no, more, more for like um, a surprise uh, team engagements. Okay. Where they kind of uh, bait in, having, mm. um, for example, uh, just Rainer on, on a solo lane or Tychus, uh, Tychus on a solo lane. And then um, you have the remainder of the team coming out. Um, Arthas just tanking the damage, Tychus needs to stay back. And then Brightwing and ETC just jump in there. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Makes perfect sense. And we have the Nazibu as the last pick for Barely Online. And uh, this is again two specialists. All right, um, a lot of uh, pushing potential again uh, with Abathur and Azebo. Uh I don't know how they can sustain themselves in fights uh, with Ufer, the only one uh, that uh, can heal in that uh, in that combination. And yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll have to see. I mean, they're they're a little bit flexible due to Abathur being on their team. Mm. Let's see how it works out. Um, let me just send out a quick tweet. Tweet your little heart out as much as you want. Twitter. Is it mouse house or just house webs? Ooh. Don't know. I think it's mouse house. Yep, mouse house webs. There we go. And 
right, I think they're about ready to get started with the game. Let me just get in there. Nope, no lobby yet. Um, so I think uh, we have to fill some time till the lobby is there and till we get ready with the match. Uh, I'm excited for it because the team combination, uh, or both team combinations, uh, are in for a surprising match. Yes. Uh, <laughs> sorry, kind of tuned no, out there. But um, yeah, kind of focused uh, into your you're right. I mean, well, Matt has a really nice composition. A um, little bit offbeat with Brightwing and ETC in there. But I, I think we're going to have some uh, interesting fights uh, up our sleeves. Since uh, they can, they can uh, really, really surprise uh, Barely Online with that. Um, but they're going to be on their toe. And due to the Abathur, they can dynamically react to whatever Wellmat will be throwing at them. So, and and like you said uh, at the beginning of the draft, it it's one of those team comps which can go either way. So it can work perfectly, or it can backfire pretty hard and uh, yeah, make you uh, yeah make you fall at the end. So I'm um, I'm surprised, and I'm also surprised to see A ETC in this team comp. Um, haven't seen much of him in the competitive world. No, um, he's not one of the regular picks, but I think, uh, who was it? Someone just said that they've played it before. Yeah, Emperor said uh, that when Matt has played them before, and they were pretty good with him. Okay. Well, as far as, I, uh, as I'm concerned, I've seen some BTCs in the public games, and uh, some of them weren't that bad. So I think yeah. the the hero has potential for a good game. And I was always asking me why he isn't uh, picked uh, not very often. Well, um, I think he works better in pub games, because um, he. I mean, in pub games, you don't have that much teamwork. At least if you're not on on some kind of a um, a voice chat before. So. Uh, I guess. Okay, I should open the match. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna open the game. So give me a sec here. Yeah, of um, course. Yeah, I mean, with with etc, you can be a little more. Uh, a little more surprising, and even if you're out of position, you can just jump in the team fights, and I think that's what helps him out in uh, in pub games. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out um, who we need in the lobby. Just gonna add someone out of barely online. Okay, never mind. They're gonna set up their own their own lobby. Okay, so we're just gonna wait. A little bit till they have exactly done that, and um, yeah, and actually there's not a lot on the line here, but uh, they are still playing for some awesome equipment in this tournament. Yeah, I think. Well, that's that's one thing I um, I would wish that the other teams would take it instead of well met, since they are already pro gamers. They have <laughs> all the gear in the world. Um, all the gear they would want uh, out of the sponsors. So maybe uh, Barely Online, who, by the way, might be... It's an international team, but at least their team captain, for example, is uh, Israelian. Uh, let's see, check out these other players. Um, so Destin uh, is the captain. He's from Israel. Then we have Bare Hands out of Finland. Borja out of Ukraine. Devils out of Poland, Ingen out of Denmark, Love Speed from Russia, and Sheep from Germany. Okay, so yeah, uh, totally agree with you. So in in terms of the gear, uh, my heart goes out to the non-pro gamers um, <laughs> as well. But it's also uh, a good chance to to show yourself on those tourneys and to. Um, to to make yourself a name in the scene because the scene is very young. It's very up and coming right now, 
as we have only the alpha, the technical alpha still of Heroes of the Storm, so um, yeah, everything is possible. Yeah, so we we had we had people asking before, how can I get started um, with the competitive heroes? And a couple of people said, oh, it's pretty tough right now. No, it's not. Uh, not at all. I mean, of course, it's it's tough to make a living out of it. Uh, I it's, well, I dare even say that it's not possible yet. Um, but as far as just getting into competitive heroes. You just join those ESL cups. It was tough before. Before we had uh, draft mode or uh, custom games. Um, that that's a time when it was really tough. But right now, just play an ESL cup. Get your friends together. Um, just improve. And if if you're up there with the top teams, uh, you're gonna get invited you know, to to all the scrim groups and everything. All right. So I'll just invite you in there, and we can get started here since we do have the lobby up. Oh. Very good. So, uh, gonna make sure that they ah they already done that. They put me on the observer. So, I'm excited for this match even more uh, than for the match before because um, I I can't get myself over those picks. And I, I always love those games in MOBAs where there are some unconventional picks and we see some unconventional tactics maybe. Some, um, some good stuff we maybe haven't seen before. Sure thing, sure thing. Alright, I think we have almost everyone in here now, so let's do it. By the way, the map is going to be Cursed Hollow. Again, Cursed Hollow. <laughs> okay. So, uh, how's, it, uh, how's the map decided? Because I came in late, I don't know how the map is decided in those uh, tourneys. Um, I think it's map vote, map vote, uh, map veto, map veto, map veto, map veto, until they find the first, or until they find the map. Ah, oh, okay. So, they veto every other map out till they are left with Cursed Hollow. Well, maybe that's uh, one of the... Uh, best competitive maps at the moment, I don't know, because of the mechanic. It's, it's really well balanced right now. And, well, I mean, the thing uh, with the tributes is, it's it might not be, um, let's see, as fair, since they do spawn randomly um, on the map at ran random times. Um, it's, it's, it might not be as fair, but it makes the matches interesting. And uh, it's one of the most liked maps right now. <coughs> Okay, uh, to uh, from your standpoint, I totally agree um, that sounds uh, very good for a map uh, you want to pick in competitive play. Um, we observers don't have to click ready, right? No, that's, no, that's, that's all good. for the players. Okay. Oh, Destin got a disconnect, um, so we might be in for a little wait here. You should be coming back online soon, though. Well, that's no problem, because we are two lovely characters, streaming for you guys, hopefully be entertaining for you, and... And if you guys are bored, you can check out the other channel, um, ESL More TV uh, Casual, I think? Yeah, ESL More TV Casual, and they are actually streaming the SK versus Alternate game right now. So check that out if you wanna um, if you wanna see the score on that, and then just come back quickly since uh, we will get started here pretty soon. Destin has come back online. Oh, we're very good. Yeah. Um, did you follow BlizzCon at all? Yeah, I did. I did uh, the opening ceremony at least. Um, then I missed I... that unfortunately. Oh, did they show I... Overwatch in the opening ceremony? Yeah. Or later on? No, they showed it in the Overwatch uh, in the in the opening ceremony, the um, cinematic trailer, and then a gameplay trailer. Okay. And I was instantly hyped. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm what so are sorry. you um, What are you most excited for? Well, uh, first of all, I played uh, Team Fortress 2 quite a lot, and this sounds to be uh, an, uh, yeah almost an exact copy of the of the game concept, of the match concept from mm -hmm. uh, Team Fortress 2. And then second of all, it's science fiction. It's a science fiction setting and I love science fiction. 
to death. And then third of all, it's a shooter. Uh, well, in, in a few months or maybe even a year, I can open my Battle.net uh, launcher and have all the game types I possibly want to play combined. You're not even going to play anything else, anything that's not Blizzard made. No, no, that's totally worth it. Cut off from the world, only Blizzard. That's um, for me. I, I have to say, Overwatch kind of caught me by surprise. I, w I was not expecting to see a, a new franchise coming out of Blizzard. Um, but they did have Project Titan cancelled, and I think uh, I've read somewhere that they used a lot of the art assets, uh, some of the design principles for Overwatch. Yeah. So um, that's probably where it came from. But I mean, if someone's gonna make the whole thing possible with FPS with different heroes um, and still having it well balanced, uh, it's gonna be Blizzard. Yes, and and the one thing I always admired about Blizzard games, they have that special touch to their games, which I couldn't find uh, on any other developer. They have a little thing called I call love. In, in into their into their games, the characters are also well designed with their backstories and stuff, and that always keeps me uh, in in the games of Blizzard. That's right. Uh, let's check out the love on this next game, though. I don't <laughs> think there's gonna be that much love between no. these two. We have Mirror spawned on the left side of uh, what Cursed Hollow. They are barely online, and they have Nova. Uther, Nazebo, Tyrael, and in the bot lane, Abathur. And on the right side of Cursed Hollow, we got Brightwing, Rayner, Arthas, ETC, and Tychus for Team Well Met. And it seems like Rayner is going to be on the top lane. Meanwhile, Brightwing is going to be the bot laner. And um, Tychus, Arthas, and ETC are going to get into the middle lane, at least at first. Uh, yeah, but we're going to see a little bit of a gang squad coming out. I think um, ETC probably just taking the lane and uh, Tychus and Arthas uh, looking to uh, grab a kill there. But not for now. Barely online going to grab their watchtower. Brightwing already got theirs. So um, so for now, just returning to the lanes. Aberfer is taking Bart, of course, so um, Brightwing will have to stop these uh, controlled locusts. Yeah. And that's pretty hard, even though uh, Nazibo is coming into the bot lane as well, so Brightwing will have a hell of a lot to do here, stopping uh, those two from pushing the lanes. Yeah, Nomi and uh, Hysterica want to go for that gank, but I don't think they s uh, saw Nova there. Uh, she got away. ETC, meanwhile, fighting Tyrael there in the mid. And oh, I think he should be fine uh, just doing that. Oh, we did have a steal on, on the observ Observer Tower, and Uther might be in trouble. Nomi and Hysterica are moving on up, but well, he's, he's so close to the gate and shielded by Abathur, so he should be good. Yeah, he was pushed too far, I just wanted to say that. But... And there's Nova. Oh, Nomi Arthur's... missing his strike there. And by the way, Nomi is not playing uh, the ETC, so Thousand Clown is going for that. And we can uh, check out the initial talents here on these uh, on these heroes. Uh, Conjurer's Pursuit for Uther, Amber Snipe for Nova, Purge Evil on Abathur, uh, Survival Instincts for uh, no uh, <laughs> Survival Instincts for Abathur, and Tyrael had the Purge Evil. So Death Ritual for Nazebo, and then we have Shield Dust um, on Brightwing. Give me more <laughs> on Rainer. Uh, frozen Waste on Arthas and Block on ETC. Armor piercing routes for Tychus. Yeah, but the last one is a must have, I think, for Tychus. And. Yeah, we have Nova luring here on the bottom lane. Maybe coming in for a gank or a quick burst on one of the heroes. Brightwing, a moment, uh, at the moment, a little bit out of position, but with Arthas and Tychus in the back, they won't engage that. Oh, the first tribute is coming up. Um, this is gonna be a nice one for Wellmet. They already have three heroes down here. ETC is coming on up. Rainer is coming down. Ufer still staying on top lane. I think Barely Online will just skip this one, or at least, um, well, maybe stop the channeling for a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. looks like the frogs are coming out. There's, there comes the channeling in. But in good position out of Wellmet. They have the half of the team split here. 
And ETC taking a little bit of damage, there comes the self heal, and a good stun out on Kingen, there comes the clone, and he takes a lot of damage and just falls oh so quickly, Tyrael trapped there in the middle, he's taking a lot of damage, Tyke is doing a good job, uh, focusing down on him, but ETC, he needs to get out, out of there. Uh, and while all this was happening, Arthas completely untouched, gathered the first tribute for Team Well Met, and so they all will disengage, I think. Um, yeah, they kind of caught Uther on the on the wrong foot there. He was a little bit too late, and that's how this came to be. Yeah, um, I gotta agree, but that was just an amazing position out of Wilmet. They were just completely, um, yeah, completely zoning off the other team. Oh, we have a little bit of an engagement here in the middle. Uh, ETC trying to get a gank up on uh, on Tyrael, but he's shielded and has Abathur on his back. <laughs> But a nice, uh, nice pushing potential here out of ETC. He's going for that, uh, for the gates. Uh, doing a good job so far. The next tribute is coming up, and well, Matt is moving into position. Yeah, almost yeah. all the players are here yet. Um, Rainer is pretty low. Hasuops needs to heal up. ETC comes in, and they get the kill up on Uther. Good job, oh. ganking up on him. They didn't see it coming whatsoever. He was just completely caught out there in the top lane. And, and the next tribute! Barely online. Complete disarray right there. And they're gonna grab that tribute, no problem. Two yeah. tributes already going for well met without any real contest coming out of Barely Online. And yeah, they're doing the same thing uh, they did in the last match. They got the first tribute and they are uh, roaming their little hearts out at this at this moment, trying to gain map dominance. And uh, they are doing the boss on the top camp right now. So this will even get them more dominance on the map as they are uh, at least a half level ahead right now over, um, what's the name, uh, Bally Online right now. Yeah, pretty early boss coming out of them, but yep. they're just gonna push this top so hard now with Rainer being there, Tychus there and ETC there, that's a lot of damage coming out. And with the boss helping out, I think they might even take this keep if uh, if Bailing Online doesn't uh, doesn't come up here. Uh, good chances, good chances though to to take the fort here. Abatha shields the tower one more time, but that wasn't quite enough as the boss has oh, the stun uh, coming in out of ETC and Tyrion moving in from the back. He gets a lot of damage done on Pausen Clown. He moves out though, and uh, yeah, I think that was the perfect timing for the disengage out of Wellmet. Yep. Uh, didn't get too much damage in, and almost getting the fort. Uh, they took out most of the towers though, so this is gonna fall here pretty soon. And the next tribute is up. Yeah. The was already channeling, but we should see. Yep, there's the CC uh, to stop him from channeling there. And it's yep. always coming in. Well, Matt is in position. Nova's still out of position for Bailey Online. She needs to get here if they want to have any chance at grabbing this tribute. And Tyrael also just staying in lane. Oh, uh, well, Matt's Maybe. not gonna have any issues grabbing this tribute, but I think barely online they can't really um, they can't really engage there since they don't have the ultimates yet. Still, barely level ten. Yeah, that almost seemed like a little bit of a connection issue concerning the Nova because she was just standing there uh, doing auto hits on the creeps. And now the second boss is about to fall for well, Matt. There comes the engagement from oh. Hero jumps on the Rainer. Amazing engage out of Tyrael and Pausen Clown. He's so low. No me was gonna fall. Pausen Clown also so close to falling. But there he goes. Oh, just makes everyone dance. But he did fall. Taking out Destin in the process though. Hysterica moves in from the back. Getting a lot of shots off on the Zebo. Can he get the final kill here though? I doubt it. Sheep moves in. He does a lot of damage on him. And Hysterica, he should he sure goes out with a bang. Can Brightwing get away? I don't think so. Oh, Nova misses him. No, she doesn't. Good job, but they're both pretty low. I don't think she can take them out. <laughs> yes, she can. Easily. It's Easily. Nova. It's Nova, for God's sake. Of course she can. With the uh, stealth Q combo, she hits him in the face. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, but they do have that uh, golem to worry about. It's gonna take out, or at least do some decent damage here on this bot fort. Um, most of that fighting was spent um, during the during the curse, though, so they didn't take uh, too much damage. The top fort did fall, 
Uh, middle four taking some decent damage, almost going out. Oh, we might see a gank up on Abathur. Hasuop's moving in. No, but Abathur gets away. They're gonna grab the fort though, yeah. without any real issue. So a little more XP coming their way. Yep, and with the first fort falling, um, they are at a catch-up game in terms of, of experience right now, if I'm correct. Because uh, Barely Online is still ahead by a tiny bit there, and there comes a the push on the second keep on the bot lane, and now Barely Online has to defend that. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, Matt still has all their six forts up. They're gonna grab this fort here pretty soon, and that would make it three forts against six. That's already a pretty massive advantage for Wellmet. Um, so not winning that last team fight wasn't as bad since they did grab the tribute before. Totally agree there. Oh, and there, there comes the engage and, and Asuops oh. just taken out in no time. And the Nazebo ultimate is still up. There pops Odin. Zaka taking a lot of damage. He's taken out. Tyrael falls in the meantime though. And Destin also going down. Wow, this just spirals out of control right now. But can Wellmet turn it around? Brightwing is still up there. Tyke is almost done. And there comes the final blow. He had, he still had some, um, uh, some count on him. And now they just move back and grab Nomi as well. Wow. And nice zoning out of these two Nazebos. Yep. There was no way for, for him to get, get, it, uh, get away at all. And that's a 3 for 2 trade in favor of Barely Online, who uh, extended their lead now in terms of experience um, by almost a full... Uh, it is a full level. Yeah, not bad. They're really, really win winning these team fights. Uh, I don't know if, if the Brightwing was the right decision here. Um, it's not turning out so well uh, so far for Wilmet. So we'll have to see if they if they can make a turnaround happen here uh, later on. I mean, they're still they're still doing pretty well uh, as far as objectives are concerned and uh, just taking out these forts, which could uh, could go in their favor later on since they are already taking out three forts in all of the lanes. Um, but they do need to win some team fights now. Yeah. I uh, fully agree, the siege fight goes in favor of uh, Team Well Met, whereas the team fights go in favor of Barely Online. And here we see the next engagement onto the Arthas. Oh, Tyrael is jumping into the trap, but Hasuop's taking a lot of damage out, the, out of the ulti. He gets away though, completely negating that ulti for the almost the entire time, and Tyrael is caught out of position. Uh, we should see another stun coming in. But nope, Thousand Clown trap there, but they did grab Uther. Yeah. Wow, but how did Tyrael stay alive? That was almost impossible, <laughs> he was so low. And now they're just gonna grab the boss, no real contest coming out of Barely Online. And then they might see a nice timing to uh, just grab the next camp again. Yeah. And also it's a very hard line, Nova comes in here with a clone. The next Maybe ultimate the evolution is coming up. Yeah. Sheep's in there. I don't know if Nova is the right idea, but I mean, they've tried the double Nazebos before. Oh, nice trap, nice zombie wall here on Pausen Clown. And they still try to find the engagement. Kingdom is up on front. Um, did pop his, his hologram there. Mm. Yeah. Uh, like I said, this is, a, this is a thin line to walk on uh, for Valley Online. There, because they have only the team fights which are holding them in their in this game right now. They need to take objectives. They need to push towers to push forts. Otherwise, they will be counted out here. And right as I say that, Uther is going to march to the next tribute. Yeah, they're going to grab the tribute, or they might be able to grab the tribute. But Brightwing is there. She's going to stop him. Yep, she's going to stop him. He, he, she can continue to stop them while when Matt takes that boss. And that's just an impeccable timing. They still have the boss up on the top lane, um, so Barely Online had to react. And now they grab their uh, the enemy boss. That's gonna go work on the bottom lane while well, they just grab the tribute and already up two tributes. Beautiful um, plate. Yeah, just exactly the timing they want out of this. Red team has destroyed yep. four. And they've got the last fort here. So 5v3 in the fort, uh, fort game. And they're gonna push on top. And they're gonna push hard. Abathur might be caught out of position, but uh, the gate, the gate is down. 
and he gets away. Okay, so yeah, the the siege giants on the top lane are captured by Team Well Met while they're retreating to push out lanes to make other uh, other mercenary camps here on the map. And it seems like Barely Online is a, has no real game plan after the first game plan failed, the bursty one. So yeah, we'll have well, to see. I think they're probably gonna go for um, for the ultimate evolution on. Ooh, jeez, that's surprising. Going for Tyrael, double stun, and maybe the follow up triple stun with Uther. That's a lot of stun, but not too much burst damage. Um, I did like the control out of the two Nazebos, so I don't know why they're not going for that anymore. Uh, ETC tried to get the engage on there, Tyrael moving down, but Odin is popped, and Tyrael taking a lot of damage, the Raiders are onto him, I think they might get him, no he turns around, stops the focus firing, Zekka is so low, they have to focus him out, but Uther falls, and there goes the final kill down by Hysterica, Arthas is taken out though, and our Arena also pretty low, he will get away with Brightwing on his back, he can help them out. But a good fight again for Well Met. They made a turnaround happen here, and now are doing better in these team fights um, alongside the objectives. And grabbing the final tribute just to add insult to injury, just gonna uh, demolish this middle lane here. Um, they're probably gonna get the keep at least. Yeah, and that's exactly what I feared was about to happen there. Uh, if you only have the team fights which keeps you in the game, you lose one and you are suddenly on the back foot and that's where uh, Team Belly Online finds itself here on the back foot, losing a keep even though Nova's coming in with the orbital strike, so it gets a slow there and is gonna be zoned out, they get the keep, they retreat well done, well met <laughs> well done, well met. Um, nothing to add there. I like the precision strike out of Nova. I mean, that, that was an amazing positioning, but they didn't have any follow-up. They couldn't capitalize on it. Usually, you want that. Um, you want the stun, the mass stun out of the Ufer, get the precision strike, or um, just uh, the initial engage with Tyrael, and then the precision strike after that. It's really only a finisher or something to soften them up. If you just have it there, um, stand alone, it doesn't really do that much. But now, well met, they're gonna grab their hard camp, and they're gonna push down again, grabbing the easy at the same time. Wow, this is gonna be a strong push incoming. The curse is up though, so, um, Barely Online does have the chance to stop this. But they're changing things up, they're going in the top lane, grabbing that tower, and let's see, we have a counter push coming in with a couple of the knights there in the middle lane. They're gonna be taken out in no time. Yep. And, uh... Well met is pumping up the pressure here um, in terms of siege camps, in terms of uh, general map presence and map dominance. So, and uh, so far, barely online, uh, haven't got any clue what to do against that. So, I'm excited to see what happens next here. Well, it's, it's real, it's real troubling right now for barely online. They can't really go out right now. Since all the all the camps have been taken, they might be able to uh, snatch up their easy camp, but uh, they they want to surprise. I think they want to surprise them at the at the boss, if at all possible. I mean, they're only down level, but and they're not a crucial waiting. level either. Oh, they're waiting for them. Bright wings in the bushes waiting, and there goes the ultimate. Arthas takes takes a nice ultimate there. They're gonna get Destin without any real issue. No, there comes the shield. Destin is still alive. Etc might be able to get him. But Sheep stopping him, Destin looks like he can get away. Good body block by the Abathur ultimate there. And Zebo is taken out. Wow, what a good job. And ETC capturing Zaka, they're gonna get him as well. Oh, Sheep still hiding in the bushes somewhere, but no one's, no one's even close to dying, so his ultimate doesn't do anything there. Uther gets a good stun off, but Hysterica just saves himself, popping the Odin. And they finally get the ultimate evolution down as well. Yep. And now Arthur is just gearing up to take the boss. And I think with that, with a 30 second cooldown on all of these heroes, they might be able to just push down and take the Nexus down right now. Yeah, I... They need, yeah, the first keep is gone. I think they're just gonna dish up all the damage they can. Abathur is on the keep, uh, on the Nexus. He can't shield it for a little bit longer. He needs a couple more seconds. Nova is the first one to respawn. But oh, Nova can't, can't stop him on her own. 30%, um, there comes the precision strike, but they move out of the way, good job yeah, by Well Met, and they're gonna get the Nexus. Yep. Wow, once more, Well Met, just 
showing their dominance here. But this was definitely a lot closer um, than I thought. Maybe not quite as close as the last game.